Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino. Right behind us, you see our 2020 GT500. I'm getting ready to test fit some parts on it, and uh, it's in the pursuit of getting this thing a little bit lighter. Getting slightly extreme with it, but uh, this is something I've run in other cars, and I think I'll like it, but in case, I may be able to go back, so let's take a look and see what we have. All right, as you can see here, we went with the stock seats. Um, this was because... Um, I, I really prefer light cars no matter what I'm doing and the Recaros don't really save you a whole bunch of weight Although they do provide extra support. So what I decided to go with was this right here This is a Tillet V1 carbon fiber seat um, As of right now, it's not nothing's mounted yet This is the planted seat bracket for this year. I am going to use Sparco sliders so other people can drive the vehicle um, I'm getting it ready right now for a track rental tomorrow and the sliders are not here So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing mounted up with no sliders and uh, we'll show you some pictures here in just a couple minutes Okay, I wanted to show you guys a couple steps on removing the seat first. You got to get the two front bolts out um, Which is, uh, is behind this little access panel here you pop it out with the any kind of screwdriver and then it's a Torx bit T55. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two bolts out, slide the seat forward, and I'm guessing it's the same in the back. Okay, we've got the seat slid all the way forward, and it's the same size in the back. It's a T55. Okay, under the seat, there's just two total plugs. You can see I've got one unplugged there already. I'll get the other one out, and we'll lift this out and get it on a scale and see what it weighs. We've got the stock seat out. We've got it over here by the scale. We'll go ahead and get it weighed. Scale is at zero. Oh, jeez. All right. There we go. 54 pounds. It's actually a little bit lighter than I was expecting. That's not too bad for a stock seat with all the fixings. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, let me go grab the carbon seat and we'll see what that weighs. Let's go ahead and weigh all this. What we've got, we've got three different components. We've got the seat, which is roughly nine pounds with the pads and everything. You've got these brackets, which I did not weigh ahead of time. And we've got the base uh, bracket. Now, this would mount the seat in a fixed position. I am going to put a slider between here and those down the road. They'll be here later this week, but uh, I'm trying to get to the track. So we're going to just mount it solid for now. So... Let's see what this weighs by itself. This seems a little heavy. Probably do a little better than what this unit weighs. That by itself is already 7.7 .7 pounds. And then we'll put the seat on top of it. So there's everything. The bracket's not touching the ground. So we're at an even 20 pounds. Um, not too bad. Obviously, between uh, what was the uh, the main seat was 55, so that's 70 pound weight savings. Um, just as you see here, if you add the seat sliders, that's gonna be a little less. Um, and depending on how anal you wanna get, you could probably, without weakening it, uh, drill this bracket some and get a little bit of weight out of it. I mean, the bracket weighs almost as much as the seat, but anyway, we're still looking at saving 60 to 70 pounds. And uh, for racing, uh, this is going to be a lot better seat than the stock seat. So let's go ahead and try and get it in there. Okay, one thing I forgot about a little bit is the seat belt. Obviously, this is fairly easy to unbolt. But if you want the seat belt alarm to work properly, uh, there's two wires here. I had started removing this harness, but it's so complicated and ingrained into this seat, I stopped. Because it's only two wires, what I'll do is... Uh, trace the wires from here it plugs in right here here to here uh, and the wires change colors I think I found them over here and then what I'll do is build a jumper from here to the stock plug so we don't have to take off all this wire so what I'm doing right now is I'm unbolting the seatbelt that is a different size Torx that is a T45 so we'll go ahead and get that off and uh, show you the next step Okay, we've got the uh, base mount installed, the planted one. Um, on the seatbelt, you actually want to want to put the seatbelt on the inside of this mount uh, as it's very tight there. Uh, also, this is the seatbelt plug. I'm going to go ahead before I uh, finally mount the seat and um, pin this out to where this goes and 
probably just do a somewhat temporary fix until I come up with a better idea. I don't want to cut any plugs, so I might uh, come up with something kind of rigged for now. So anyway, I'm going to put the seat on first and see what the seating position looks like. And uh, I might have to drill this out too. These holes may or may not match. I don't think they do. So anyway, a little bit of work here, but it's going to be worth it. Okay, some time has passed since I shot that footage. Originally, I was planning on releasing this video and just got sidetracked. So uh, since then, I've uh, we've installed the passenger seat. We did not do the sliders yet. They were a little heavier than I liked when they arrived, so I'm waiting on that there. So they're still a little bit low, uh, but I have been able to drive them for quite a bit, both at the drag strip and uh, driving around town. So let's go ahead and show you what they look like first, and then um, you know I can tell you what I think. Anyway, also recently got a PPF done on the front. The hood is not done. We didn't get the hood done because I, on my way to the PPF, I got a scratch in my hood and I didn't want to put the PPF over it, but we put some touch-up paint there and it's okay. Uh, and then I went ahead and ordered the Anderson uh, carbon fiber hood. So I'm just going to wait on that to decide what to do about the hood, but the fenders, the whole front end is PPF. Uh, anyway, and the car has been ceramic coated by Dale. Uh, if anybody needs any of that done when their car is here for other things, uh, we can offer that as a service. But anyway, here are the seats. Uh, so let's talk about them a little bit. As you can see, I don't think uh, too many people would argue that they look very, very nice. Uh, Dale was able to actually uh, ceramic coat the carbon also. Um, so let's talk about a few things. Comfort. Okay. I've had a few people sit in this thing and they were very, very shocked as to how comfortable it is. Sitting still, of course. Not too many people have driven in it yet, but sitting still. Um, and the interesting part is I'm 170 pounds, 5'9". I guess you would consider me uh, a little bit on the slender side, not really, just average. Uh, but you know, a couple of the other guys here are larger build, and they fit in this seat no problem. I'm talking guy, I'm 170. Where I'm talking guys that are, you know, 240, and it's still they still fit in this seat pretty good. So, um, in my opinion, it's a great option. Uh, it's not a cheap option, that's for sure. Uh, but neither is the car, and you know. I'm all about carbon fiber. I plan on doing a lot of the Anderson uh, composites uh, replacement pieces. They make this piece here. Pretty much the, every black piece on the car is going to come out in carbon. I need to get the carbon replacement on the dash also. So anyway, so as far as the review on the seats, like when I sit in this seat, I actually like feel relaxed. Like it, like it's a massage as far as it just fits me so perfectly. There is one downside and you know the downside is probably twofold uh one is i'm currently running mickey thompson drag radial tires on my stock wheels these tires are notorious for sometimes having a bad ride quality once they're warm since i put the seats on i really haven't had any other uh, or seats in i haven't put uh, i haven't had any other wheels uh, or tires on the car so at highway speeds, now keep in mind, this is, you know, hard mounted to the floor, hard mounted to the seat. You may not be able to tell, but I mean, there's really not much cushion here. It's very, very comfortable as far as the shape of it and the way it holds you. But uh, ride down the highway in your car, in your regular car and hold your hand on the center console. A lot of times, even on the nicest car, you'll feel a slight vibration. I now feel that you know, at 70 miles an hour, like in my scalp a little bit. It, it's not great, okay? I'm not gonna take these on a road trip. Oh, you know, okay, Bradenton's three hours away. That's probably the farthest I would drive this if I was gonna drive it and not trailer it. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is, uh, first off, these are Tillet B1 seats, which I said earlier, um, but uh, I prefer to try and make this look like it came this way. So we're getting the uh, white, uh, Cobra, which this, the you know, the GT500 uh, snake symbol is going to go here. Uh, that's getting embroidered, and then we'll just replace all that. I'll show you pictures of that when it's done. Uh, like I said, in this seating position, 
with the brackets directly on the floor. It's drivable. I can drive it. I've been driving it, but it's too low for me overall, especially on the street. On the track, I don't mind being a little bit lower. So um, for a taller guy, this would probably be perfect. I'm 5'9", so maybe a guy, you know, six foot and higher. This is great. Uh, for me, I'm either going to put the sliders back or sliders in to space it up or I'll just add spacers to get them to the height that I want. But uh, anyway, these are awesome. I purchased these from T1 Race Development in uh, Texas. Um, the seat brackets themselves are called planted. I didn't get those from T1. Uh, these side brackets are made by Tillet, which I also got from T1. Uh, and then the brackets, I think I ordered directly from the manufacturer planted. So anyway, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I've got some new wheels going on the car soon. Hopefully that video will be out soon. We're waiting on some hardware and I didn't want to show you guys the wheels until I can show them to you on the car. So that's coming up next.